Hello everybody, this is George with Melnick's Automotive. I am working on a 2014 Acura MDX. This vehicle has uh, a lot of lights, basically a Christmas tree on the dash. And I'll show you how to fix it. Um, you guys might experience the same thing. When I start the car, I have airbag light is, I know why that's on, but I got SH all-wheel drive, traction control, check engine, ABS, and FCW. Brake light is on because I have my uh, brake, emergency brake pushed in. Um, I'll show you how to fix this. Uh, pretty easy fix. Basically what we're going to do, um, before you replace any modules, we would like to check those fusible links and uh, it's right underneath the hood and I'll show you how to fix it. Also, another thing I forgot to mention, when I, when I hit engine stop as you can see my engine doesn't want to stop and the light is flashing see that light is flashing so I actually gotta press and hold it for the engine to quit so let's get underneath the hood and also as you can see my yellow key flashing so um, this is a very simple fix let's go underneath the hood okay we're underneath the hood and you will see an older MDX they used to have a fuse box in here, the 1307 through 13 model, but now they moved it to the back of the firewall. So you see these clips right here. What we need to do, press those clips and kind of pull it up. There's four of them. And this should come right up. Okay, so as you, I'm not sure if you have, you could see these, these fusible links right here. Uh, if you check all the fuses, all the fuses will be okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out, you could use size 8 or Phillips, I'm going to take out this screw here, and I'm going to check a VSA, VSA fusible link, and this is the fuse box cover, and you could see it, there's a VSA, uh, that's a 20 amp, 20 amp fuse right there, it's a second, second on my left, so let's pull that out, and uh, see what's going on with it. Sometimes it's a good idea to grab a screwdriver and kind of help it like this. Just be careful, don't break it, because it could break. Very gently. There you go. I just went ahead and yanked it out. And I'm going to show you that, as you can clearly see, the 20 amp link is blown. It's the second it's the second link right there where my screwdriver is so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and replace it with another fusible link and uh, we'll see if that will take care of my lights okay so we went ahead and replaced with the new we got a new fusible link and uh, I'm gonna put it back in you wanna push it in just like this you'll hear that side click in you wanna push this other side in and don't forget to replace a little bolt or a screw make sure it's nice and tight we're going to replace the cover okay and now I'm gonna go start the car and we'll see if anything changed Okay, I'm back in the car. Um, as you remember, all them lights were on. Let's start the car. My camera's a little blurry, but as you could see, every single light went off except the airbag light. And uh, the airbag light is on, it's for a different reason. I need to replace a module. This car has been in an accident, so the bags were deployed. We replaced the bags. We still have to put the new module in. But as you could see, all my lights are completely gone. Every single one, SH all-wheel drive, ABS, traction, uh, my brake, all my lights went out because of one simple link. Also, if you guys remember, my uh, engine stop button wouldn't turn off the engine. Let's see if I hit this now and, and, and it goes out. 
beautiful. As you can see, my engine is off. And I'm going to test it again. I'm going to start it back up. Engine's running. All right, that's it for this video. This was George with Melnick's Automotive. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. Otherwise, thanks for watching.